Hey everyone, uh, this is Alexander P and today I'll be going over the X5 U4 digital wireless in-air monitor system. So uh, X5 uh, recently contacted me and they asked if I would like to give these guys a try and I said yes, yeah, so absolutely. Um, so I'm just going to go to the unboxing, uh, give you guys the specs, and then I'll show you how I set up to my mixer and record some jumps with them. Inside the box, we have the receiver, the transmitter, a male XLR to male quarter inch unbalanced input adapter, a dual micro USB charging cable so you can charge the transmitter and receiver simultaneously. You can charge it through your, your computer or a power bank, a carrying bag, and finally the manual with the warranty card, a small catalog, and a sticker. The U4 is a mono wireless in-air system that uses 2.4 GHz ISN band frequency, high resolution 24 bit to 48 kilobits per second audio, dynamic range to 107 dB, less than 5 milliseconds latency, connection over 90 feet range, and up to 5 hours of battery life. All right, over here, this is the transmitter. And as you can see, this is where you connect your micro USB cable to charge it. Uh, at the front, at the right side, you have your power switch. And right here, in the, where the blue LED is, that's where your channel is. This is where it's currently set on, which is one. And to change the channels, you just simply hit this button. And at the left, you have your line and auxiliary settings. Uh, you set the transmitter to aux if you're going to connect to portable audio players or computers. And you set the transmitter to line if you're going to connect it to mixers or other audio devices that send line level signals. Also, this button right here is the lock, so you can take this transmitter out of the mixer safely or when you're done using the adapter that's included with the U4. Okay, so this is the receiver, and at the top you have your power switch, uh, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and at the front you have your channel display, and at the left you have your volume knob. The LED in the middle, uh, the left side indicates the power, and the right is your signal. So I'll be honest, I was a little bit nervous and skeptical about the U4 using a 2.4 because my GoPros that are connected to my smart remote and my laptop, uh, they're using the same frequency. And I was a little bit nervous, you know, of getting uh, interference or loss of signal. But when I tested them earlier, uh, luckily I did not get any of that. All right, so in the next clip, I will show you a drum sound check with me using the U4. Uh, so I have the transmitter connected to the master left on my mixer and I got the receiver connected to my DSLR with a 3.5 uh, aux cable.
The first thing I like about the U4 is the build quality. As I said earlier, after I accidentally dropped the receiver, it still works. Um, the second thing I like about them is lightweight and portable. And the third is the uh, battery life. Uh, for me, I the other day I recorded over three hours and I still get good signal and no interference. And last is the, the range, uh, 90 feet range. Well, for me, I, I, I just walked around my house and uh, went to the basement and I could still hear uh, my music through, through the receiver pretty well. Right, the one thing I don't like about the UU4 is that the sound you will hear from the receiver is only in mono. I do wish it was uh, stereo, at least for, for me, like that would be, help me a lot, uh, especially when I do drum covers. And the second thing I don't like about it is that the battery is not interchangeable. that's it for today you guys uh, thank you all so much for watching and if you guys want more information on the u4 digital wireless in-air monitor system i will post the link in the description below and of course i'll see you all in the next drum cover